take a look at the full highlights from tonight's matchup, and things did not start out in the Avalanche favor. The first goal of the game comes from Tyler Sagan to make it one nothing. This is a little missed coverage by uh, Gerard there, and Sagan bats it out of the air, ends up just sniping it under the elbow. A like, great shot, a little good. Play. Fortuitous, fortuitous goal to start to start the, the game for Dallas. Yeah, Georgia have a little bit low in his positioning, so Sagan takes advantage of that. But then the Dallas Stars get their opportunity on the power play, a low to high pass, and Joe Pavelski makes it count. But not before we see a big opportunity going off the crossbar. Well, this was the story. Wow, this, this, this was the story of the first period for us was was the bounces, and then they they come back. We hit the crossbar, they come back, and just a nice play down low where they end up stretching our guys out a little bit and Jamie Ben just finds passes right by the skate finds Pavelski in front where he loves to make his home and makes a quick shot that sneaks sneaks by Georgia and again just a story of bounces in the first first half of this game no question we saw them making that pass repeatedly throughout the night really good at finding Pavelski or other stars players right in front of the net but Georgie continuing to stand tall and in the third period pretty early on the stars get an opportunity to make it three nothing and Tyler Sagan again well just a, a soft little clear on our end doesn't get out of the zone and just a broken play where Marshawn or Marchman ends up screening Georgiev, who gives up a little juicy rebound. He yeah. probably would have had that if he didn't have the screen. Sagan's Johnny on the spot, Johnny Lyle's on the spot there, <laughs> and just taps it in. So things are feeling pretty bleak, but after a big five on three kill, the tide begins to turn and it starts with a goal from Miles Wood. This is a Mighty Ducks 2, Louis Mendez reference. Mendoza. Mendoza, sorry. He's <laughs> flying, flying, can't stop. He can't stop. Ends up sneaking it okay. five hole. The goal, a goal's a goal. A goal's I, a goal. They would challenge this goal. It counted. They go to the penalty kill, excuse me, the power play for the Avs. They don't cash in there, but then another power play opportunity and the Avs do not miss on this one. It's Johansson in front. Well, this is, again, this is the, the swings of the game, and this is where it turned into our favor for the rest of the game uh, from here on out, right? Uh, McCarr takes a shot, another assist from McCarr, nice tip in front from Johansson, and then gets the guys feeling really good going into the third period. And the third period is where the Avalanche just really turned it into second gear, really put the pedal to the metal, and Val Nachushkin gets on the board to tie it 3-3. Three, three. We don't show this, but they were in the zone for a good 40, 45 seconds before with sustained pressure. Yeah, nice little, long shift. Little, little broken down play, little turnover there. Like Val, right where he needs to be in front of the net, around the net, finds an empty net with uh, Ottinger stretched out. Yeah, and he was all over the ice tonight, Natushkin was, continuing to make plays. Here he is again, gets the puck at the center, throws it down into the slot, and who else? Miko Brandon with a backhand. Well, this is a great play by Devon Taves. I think he stopped on purpose for Miko, who's right in front. Like I said earlier, he's, he's aware of where he's at on the ice, and a backhand is a deceptive shot, and he finds the corner and beats Ottinger again for five, four in a row. Four in a row, four unanswered goals, but why not make it five? Not long after, Andrew Cogliano right on the doorstep sees a puck sitting there and puts it home. Two former stars getting after their old team, and Olsen and Kiviranta gets an assist on the goal yeah. and just sneaks by, tap in. Absolutely gorgeous. The Avs would go on to finish it off with an empty netter by Ross Colton. Six to three, your final score. 38 to 28, the shots. What else stands out for you from these Final stats brought to you by your local Chevy dealer. Well, for me, it's right now, it's the 22 hits, the 17. It just shows that we were kind of dictating the game uh, through, even in the first period, right? Our, our bounces weren't there, but our effort and our energy was there all game. We had a little lull early in the second. After that five on three, that's when things kind of changed around. But the biggest thing here was third period. Right. Dallas only had five shots. And three of those came in with the la within the last two minutes with the extra attacker. Right. So it was just, it was it was an onslaught in the third period. It's a great example of showing you how the Avalanche truly were playing well throughout this game. But like you said on the hits, it's great to see that they were committed to the checking game, committed to the defensive game, and they got rewarded. They never strayed from their system.